Good afternoon everybody, what's going on? Today's review has now brought us here for a very special up close and personal encounter with the all new 2012 Buick Regal Grand Sport. Our review today has brought us here to classic Buick GMC here in Carrollton, Texas. And now, with all of that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Regal, and this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and high-performance features that have been added on to both the exterior as well as interior. And so, bearing all that new information in mind, let's go ahead and climb aboard and check it out. This particular Regal Grand Sport wears the white diamond tri-coat exterior. This particular vehicle also comes standard with what's known as an Easy Key Passive Smart Key Entry System, which uses a standard Buick Switchblade key to provide complete remote free access into the vehicle along with a standard push button ignition. Gaining entry is as simple as having the key fob anywhere on your person, a prime example being here in my pocket. And as you saw just a moment ago, we've just unlocked the vehicle. And both the locking and unlocking is done through various touch sensitive gestures and various color coordinated areas on both the front and back of the door handle. To lock it, simply touch any one of your fingers to the small color coded portion on the side of the handle. Give it just a moment. And then to unlock the vehicle, simply grab the handle, give it a pull, and that unlocks the vehicle. The GS trim level comes with its own specifically designed jet black leather interior. All Regal Grand Sports of this period come standard with a six-speed manual transmission. And as such, to start the vehicle, all you have to do is to press the clutch while making sure the key fob is still within the vehicle, then simply locate and hit the opulently styled engine start button to start the engine. Very beautiful sounding motor. One of the Grand Sport's unique features is its uniquely contoured three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel, which has a lot more of a thicker padding at the bottom portion of the steering wheel, along with a very modest flat bottom design. Both the 9 and 3 o'clock positions are also heavily perforated, with moderately sized grip extensions and a very thick and very soft texture and padding to the overall leather and material. As I said, this Regal comes with a six-speed manual transmission, at a later point in the year, Buick is looking to release an automatic version of the Grand Sport for those not looking for a little bit more of a performance-oriented driving style. To go into reverse, you would simply lift up on the chrome trigger over to the left and all the way up. It does come with an electronic parking brake, and to set and release, simply keep your foot on the brake, pull up to set, then simply push forward to release. That's as simple as that. We'll go ahead and leave it on just for safety's sake. Both the driver and passenger windows are automatic in both directions. The business end of the Regal Grand Sport houses a newly updated version of a 2 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve turbocharged and intercooled inline 4 cylinder engine. Combined with various technologies such as spark ignition direct fuel injection as well as a new signature variable valve timing system. All this technology put together is enough for a power output of 270 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. This vehicle is front wheel drive and 0 to 60 comes up in around 6.5 seconds onto a top speed of around 160 miles an hour or thereabouts. Even so, it's quite fuel efficient, scoring an average fuel economy estimate of 20 miles per gallon city and 32 miles per gallon highway on premium unleaded gasoline only.
And now let's go ahead and take a listen to the soundtrack of that little inline four-cylinder engine and see what kind of noise she produces. It's a little bit hesitant as far as up revving and down revving, but still, the power delivery is extremely fluid. There is no transfer of motion into the interior cabin of the vehicle. And on that note, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights, as well as the hazard lights as usual. And now let's take this opportunity to explore the new exterior of the Regal Grand Sport. The new Regal Grand Sport comes with the signature black and chrome bezeled by Xenon high intensity discharge projector headline lights, which also do come with factory accented LEDs, which do illuminate in the automatic light setting. Grand Sport specific front and back and side fascias. It does have front and rear parking assist sensors, which line the entire bumpers of both sides of the vehicle. It's also got a black chrome finished waterfall style grille with Buick's signature tri-shield badging. The Regal Grand Sport comes with its own signature set of 20 inch polished aluminum alloy wheels mounted on signature Pirelli P0 Nero sports assisted tires. You also do get ventilated Brembo brakes with six piston calipers in the front and four piston calipers in the rear. Heat extracting louvers in the upper portion of the hood. Monochromatic LED turn signal equipped mirrors. Power tilting and sliding sunroof. As with pretty much all of General Motors vehicles, it does come with a one year subscription to OnStar with additional subscriptions available later on. It's also worth mentioning the fact that the Buick Regal is not actually under the Buick name originally. This vehicle is known overseas as the Vauxhall or Opel Insignia, with this particular trim level being known as the VXR. Polished aluminum trim surrounding the upper portion of the trunk lid here. Dual metallic silver surrounded exhaust tips. It's got rear heated defrosting glass, shark fin antenna for the XM satellite radio, It's an absolutely beautiful looking car. European design with an American badge. Really can't get any finer than that.
And now that we've had a good look at the exterior of the GS Regal, let's go ahead and take, go ahead and take a better look at the interior. As I said, this Grand Sport model has its own specifically designed jet black leather interior. Heavily stitched and bolstered Grand Sport style seats with this custom almost old school muscle car style stitched leather in the center portion. Very nice and thickly padded and very nicely contoured all together. Brushed aluminum sill plates. You also have slight hidden accents of painted black piano veneer trim along the side doors and also on various other pieces of the interior. As you would also expect from a vehicle of this caliber, you do get plenty of powered amenities including both power mirrors, driver and passenger window that are automatic in both directions, along with the rest of the power windows, window locks, and as an added safety feature, child protective safety locks that will only unlock the vehicle upon the vehicle's power being turned off. And also, your power door lock switch is located here in the center console. The Regal Grand Sport features all sorts of features that you would not normally expect on a vehicle of this caliber. One of the most unique ones, at least one that catches this reviewer's eye, is if you look at this slight metallic silver portion around the gauge cluster, it's very similar to that of a, fav of a chronographical watch. If you look close, I'm not exactly sure that you can see that, but you can see that it reads 4500, 5500, and 6500 versus the standard 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, which counts out the RPMs times 100. It's very similar to, like I said, like a chronographical watch, as you can see. Again, the very thickly padded steering wheel. Nicely laid out center stack with navigation display in the center. Now up here on the dashboard, although it does look quite complex, it's actually very simple to understand, but there are two buttons that are quite necessary on this Grand Sport model, located right here. You have your Sport button and also the Grand Sport button as well. If you press the Sport button itself, it will lower the vehicle down just a tad and also sharpen the steering just a little bit to provide for a little bit more of a performance-oriented experience. But if you press the Grand Sport button, it, it basically changes the whole vehicle setup to provide for the most performance-oriented driving experience available. It will tighten the suspension, it will actually lower the car just a hair and make it as smooth and aerodynamic as possible, as well as easiest to drive as well. You've also got traction control up here. You've got your front and rear parking assist that you can both turn on and off. Your notification will show up here in the central display in the gauge cluster. And down here in the middle, you have your different um, radio control settings as well as different controls for various other uh, lists such as navigation and also iPod integration. This particular model that we're in right now has the upgraded Harman Kardon stereo system with factory subwoofers in the trunk. Very nicely put together. It's also got a dual zone climate control system with various heated amenities including two stage driver and heated seats, driver and passenger heated seats as well, 
It's also got front and rear defroster, along with automatic air conditioning, your manual fan overrides down here, along with your various climate control settings as well. Various temperature controls and temperature synchronization, maximum air conditioning as well as air conditioning recycling, and on some models you also have the upgraded option of a heated steering wheel as well. Also down here, you also have your various navigation and Bluetooth controls as well. It's also got the power tilting sunroof, automatic one touch, and that also comes with its own mesh wind guard and can be vented as well to allow for just a slight bit of ventilation. Homelink garage door system as well as various reading lights and amenities. Overall, the European styling really shines in this vehicle. It certainly brings a much more youthful, much more well-crafted shape to what was once considered to be, well, a vehicle for the elderly sort of generation. But now, with Buick's introduction of the Regal GS and other various youthfully shaped models, they really are starting to make a comeback with these vehicles. And even with all of that being said, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. You'll hear the doors automatically unlock as soon as you turn off the vehicle's power. And we've already got the key fob with us, so let's check out the rest of the features of the Regal GS. It's a five passenger vehicle, space for three in the back. Again, the same heavily contoured seats with the specially stitched leather in the center portion. Very nice and plushly padded. As far as legroom goes with the driver's seat in its current position, I actually do have quite a fair bit, although it's not exactly the most optimal, but again, like in pretty much all vehicles, depending on their size, it does a lot, um, the distance of which the driver's seat is away or in front of you, it basically a lot shows you how much room legroom you actually have allotted. You also have very deep footwells to allow for a lot bigger, uh, better footroom. And also, headroom is not necessarily a problem for someone of my status at six foot one inches tall. Also got rear air conditioning vents, as well as various integrations and plugs. Very thickly padded fold down center console. And also the rear seats are 60-40 split storage, as you'll see a little later on here in the video. Now the trunk can be accessed by either the specific button on the remote, or there is small, a hidden small touchpad underneath the Buick logo. Trunk pops right open, revealing a massive storage capacity. Again, you can see the factory subwoofers for the Harman Kardon audio system. Specific cargo netting. Full-size spare tire and everything under the trunk mat. Standard capped fuel filling system. Unlike some other vehicles in the General Motors lineup, the Regal GS is not flex fuel compatible, which essentially would mean that it does not run on E85 ethanol. As I said, the seats are 60-40 split fold. Simply pull on the trigger, seats fold right down. You might have to move the seats in either direction to allow them to fold flat, but it does a lot for a much bigger storage capacity when the seats are folded down. You can really hear the European quality in this Buick. Just take a listen to when I open the door. When I close it as well. Very soft and very nicely sounding at all. Both the driver and passenger seats are fully powered adjustable with power lumbar support as well.
all of your various reading amenities. Lots of legroom in the passenger compartment. As you can see, six foot one inches tall, and I can pretty much extend my legs all the way fully, which means that it's a very spacious and very comfortable vehicle as well for the passengers. As far as safety features go, you've got a multitude of airbags, including dual front impact airbags, side curtain, as well as side, air, uh, side cushion mounted side impact airbags. Absolutely phenomenal vehicle overall. Certainly a welcomed addition to the already youthful Buick lineup. And on that note, viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this rather exclusive look at the all-new 2012 Buick Regal Grand Sport. If you wish to contact Classic Buick GMC about this particular vehicle, or any of the others that you may have seen in the background of this review, please feel free to do so at classicofcarrollton.com. And until then, viewers, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.